that would mean I'm not, I, I, I land ho. Okay, <laughs> it would mean this direction is different from this direction. Mm. And if you're out at sea, if there's land that way, but sea in every other direction, water in every other other direction, something different just happened. And so that becomes a more intriguing part of the universe. We'd all be focused that way if that were, in fact, the case. Now, the horizon problem, as stated, just the horizon problem, means something different from what he asked. And it has to do with if this horizon is very different from that horizon, uh, there's, there's several manifestations of this, but one of them is how can that part of the universe be at exactly the same temperature as this part of the universe? How would it know to be the same temperature unless the whole universe was somehow connected to itself um, in a very small place, right? And it had to be really connected because the difference in temperature in every direction is like a hundredth of a degree Kelvin. Wow. You, you, you don't have that consistency of temperature from one side of your room That's to the other, wow. much less one side of the universe to the other. And so this is part of what we think of as the horizon problem. And that's where we got to inflationary cosmology. So these are the details that's in the, what do you call it, in the, in the weeds of the Big Bang. But when they say, oh, the Big Bang is having problems, oh, there's just challenges within the weeds. But the broader picture that we began as an explosion 14 billion years ago, that's intact. It's like, what's going on in the weeds that we have to try to understand? Interesting. So, Wow. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, we've got to end there. We've got one more segment left. All right. Cosmic Queries. Uh, uh, potpourri. Cosmic Queries. Crab bag. Cosmic Queries. Galactic gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>